Hello and welcome to quantitative aptitude video from careerride.com. In this video, we would be dealing with problems on numbers. Numbers is a very frequently asked topic in various aptitude examinations conducted all across the nation. May it be a bank exam, a government exam or an exam for an entry into a B school. Now, in this video, we have tried to cover almost all the concepts around whom the problems on numbers are being crafted. And by the end of this video, you would be in a comfortable position while dealing with the problems from this chapter in future. So let's begin. First question. The difference between two numbers is 2010. On dividing the larger number by smaller, we get 5 as quotient and 14 as remainder. Then what are the numbers? Now we know that the difference between the two numbers is 2010. So let the smaller number be x and the larger number be x plus 2010. Now we know that on dividing larger by smaller, we get 5 as quotient and 14 as remainder. So that means smaller into 5 and when 14 added to it, we get the larger number. So x plus 2010 plus 5x plus 14. So it goes up to 4x is equal to 1996 and x is equal to 499. So the smaller number would be 499 and the larger number would be 499 plus 2010 that is 2509 would be the larger number. Second question. The difference between the two digit number and the number obtained by interchanging the digit is 27. Now there is one number and when we interchange the digits, the another number is 27 greater than, than the previous number. So what is the difference between the sum and the difference of the digits of the number if the ratio between the digits is 1 is to 2? So the ratio between the digits is given 1 is to 2. So since the number is greater than the number obtained by reversing the digits, so the so, so 10's digit would be greater than 0's digit. So just because tens digit would be greater than units digit. that means 2x it, it, it can be seen easily it is greater than it so when it would be uh, the digit would be reversed then x would be this side and 2x would be this side so it would be smaller and hence we can find out the difference so I'll, I'll tell you how we how we would perform it now we know that units place has the weightage of 1 tens place at the weightage of 10 and hundreds place at the weightage of 100. So initially we have 2x at tens place and x at units place. So this digit will be greater just because 2x into 10 and x into 1. So we get 10x into 2x plus x. Now the digits are reversed and then between these two we get the difference of 27. So divide digits are reversed, we get x in the place of 10 and 2x in the place of unit. So it would be x into 10 and x and 2 and 2x into 1. So 10 into 2x plus x minus 10x plus 2x, we get the difference as 27 as given in the question. So 9x is equal to 27. We get x is equal to 3. The required difference would be 2x plus x minus 2x minus x that is 2x it is saying this difference between the sum and the difference of the digits would be so this is sum and this is difference and then difference between these two identities so 2x we get we get x is equal to 3 so the answer is 6 now third question sum of the digits of the two number is 12 and difference between the digits is 4. What is the two digit number then? Now we would assume the tens digit to be x and assume the units digit to be y just because we don't know. So the sum of the digits is clearly set to be 12. So one equation is formed x plus y is equal to 12 and the difference is set is to be 4. So we don't know whether x is greater than y or y is greater than x. So it can be either way x minus y is equal to 4 or y minus x is equal to 4. So one time we will solve this equation with this equation, another time we will solve this equation with this equation. We will get the two values of x and y. So at one instant we get x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 4 and the other instant we get x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 8. 
So the number is either 84 or 48. Hence the number cannot be determined. Fourth question. The product of the two numbers is 6174. And the question, when larger one is divided by smaller is 14. The smaller of the number would be then. Now we don't know the number. So we would assume the number to be x and y. Now the product is given. So x, y is equal to 6174. Now when the larger is divided by smaller, we assume the larger to be x. So x by y is equal to 14. Now what we'll do is we'll divide x, y by x by y. So we get 6174 by 14. That is 441 is equal to y square. So we get the value of y. That is 21. We we'll place this value of y in x by y is equal to 14. We get the value of x to be 294. Now, he is asking the sum of the numbers. So, we will simply add the value of x and value of y to get the answer as 315, which is required. Now, the fifth question. In a two-digit number, if it is known that the unit's digit exceeds its tenth digit by 2, then the product of the given number and the sum of the digit is equal to 144. Now, we know that the tenth digit is x. So, the unit digit at set is exceeds 10 digit by 2, so would be x plus 2. Now, it's saying the product of the given number and the sum of the digits is equal to 144. So, first the number would be 10x plus x plus 2. So x plus 2 is in unit space, hence it is written identically. Now, x is in 10th place, so multiplied by 10. So, 10x plus x plus 2 would be 11x plus 2. This would be the magnitude of the number. Now the sum of the digits would be x plus x plus 2 that is 2x plus 2. Now the question says that multiplication of these two is 144. So we get a quadratic equation. 22x square plus 26x minus 140. So we get the value of x to be 2. Hence the required number would be we place the value of 2 in this equation and we get the answer as 24. That is the answer. I hope the problem solved in this video would help you deal with the problems from this chapter in future confidently. Thank you.